go. Got a bunch of cars just strewn around the track. Oh! Every time I transition there, I think I'm gonna hit him. What's up, everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here on Tamata Circuit in uh, some tandem buddy cars. We're gonna try and get some tandems with some randoms here on a open lobby. Looks like there's an S14 there that we're gonna just try and throw ourselves into right away. We are in the S14, Ooh. and we're just gonna try and grab doors. A lot of you guys have been wanting to see more tandems. We do have the OG. Mint green and Nero chrome energy wheel on for today. My original energy innovations wheel. This man knows. This man knows his lines. I tried to cut that a little bit too short. Oh, almost hit him. Are we good? Are we good? Trying to point where I want to go on his door and give him room transition. Man knows where he wants to go, and I am just all over the curves right now. Oh, as I say that, he cuts the grass. Little clutch kick out. Trying to just get my transitions and my depth perception correct. Here in the Oculus Rift S. Oh, that transition was on point. Right there, two. Two for two on the transitions. Can we stay with him? I uh, a little more gear than I do. But we're kind of there. We're kind of there. That drift works S14. Ooh, that dude, man, is full send all the way out on track. Definitely going to be following this guy for sure. He knows what's up. He knows the line to run. Oculus making tandems so much more interesting. Ooh, we had a 180 coming up. Oh man, we had a 180 come on track, but we still good. We still rolling here. So I've learned to start looking on the cars just like I would in real trying to tandem, kind of point my car where I want. To position and kind of keep my car there so instead of looking at the car center door I'm looking at basically the rear quarter and trying to keep a position on the rear quarter in the same spot on the side window as I want to in order to kind of keep that position the same kind of like the blue angels and the fighter pilots use a spot on the fuselage or wing of their lead plane to uh Make sure they stay in proximity of that. Ooh, I kind of, kind of lost angle there. There we go. I'm looking at that W pretty much on Driftworks on his rear quarter, trying to keep that W in the same spot on my side window as much as I can to keep the tandem and the positioning where I want to kind of be. Did I just get bumped? I got bumped. We got another, we got a third man in here, trying to throw some doors, ah, understeer. Oh, oh, there we go. Is that transition. I'm getting a lot of really good transitions. I'm not clipping his bumper, which is good, but I'm getting close. He runs this one very wide. We are definitely uh, getting tandems here today here on a set of Corsa in the VR. The right-hand drive 14 not screwing with me pretty much at all. If I could get that line better, I'd be good. There we go. 
Got a bunch of cars just strewn around the track. Oh! Every time I transition there, I think I'm gonna hit him. But I don't. I'm gonna have to left foot brake a little bit to catch, so I don't run into him. Try to run this one a little wider like he does. There we go. Let's kick it out. There we go. Yup, this dude knows what's up. He's got the line. He's kind of a very, very similar style to me. So that's uh, definitely a plus. I should probably shift from the third there. I think that's why he's definitely leaving me through that straight. So I gotta cut the angle here to catch up to him for this part of the track. So I'm definitely gonna try next straight away to try and uh, go into third. Ooh, that transition though was nasty. Transition, a nasty one though. Definitely gonna want to see some of these transitions from the outer view to see how actual close I was because I'm thinking I'm like over rotating. I'm thinking I'm like right on his bumper, but in actuality, am I? Or am I just thinking I'm that close? My depth perception might be a little bit off in the Oculus. Oh man, we got a we got a train going behind us. Oh, I heard it! I heard the bump! I heard the bumper graze! Little bumper grazer transition. Give him room. I kind of messed up my transition there, but we are just throwing doors with this man. Here in Aceto, we got a line of cars behind us too. There's a 180, I got scared. Just got a line of cars behind us. Definitely gonna wanna take a look at the outer view of these tandems because these are pretty saucy. I gotta lie. I know mean, a lot of some people are gonna give me crap because stand buddy cars are easy to tandem with. But when you get a lobby with a bunch of cool cats, and you can just throw doors. I almost missed my handbrake. Got it with my pinky. When you get a lobby like this, even if it is in tandem buddy cars that can throw some serious sauce and throw some nice saucy lines. It's fun, no matter what kind of cars you're in. Oh man. Oh, a little lag. Oh, locked up my front brakes. I got a dot in my face. Rid of the dot. A little bit too much on the left foot brakes there, locking up my front brakes. My dog playing with a squeaky toy in the background. Oh, I thought I was gonna hit him there. I think this is the longest tandem session I found in an online public session. I got pushed. That I found in a public session in a very long time, and I am super stoked to be. Uh, throwing it in the oculus right now definitely getting super comfortable with it oh that man just dipped apparently now we lead car apparently we're lead car now so i definitely want to take a look at some of those tandems from the outer clip because well those looked fire and we're gonna want to see how close i actually was so we're gonna go take a look at the replay i think we're gonna finish this lap off Go take a look at the replay, get out of the Oculus, take a look at the perspective view of these tandems, and well, see how close I actually was, because I felt like I was super close, but then again, you know, depth perception in VR, still getting used to it. I could be like miles away from this dude. I don't think I'm actually miles away, but you know what I mean. So we're going to switch out of the Oculus, we're going to stop ourselves here switch out oculus check out the third person views and the cinematic drifting so let's go do that 
All right, so we are going to take a look at some of these tandem runs from the cinematic view with the S4 teams. So like I said, I was having a lot of fun doing this. I wasn't sure actually how close I was getting on these transitions, but they looked pretty dang good to me in uh, VR. I hope you guys enjoyed the VR content. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter all over the description box below. And uh, definitely having a lot more fun doing tandems in VR for sure. Yeah, we were close. Yeah, those transitions were pretty spicy. Not gonna lie, those little uh, grass up there kind of screwed me up, but... You know, for not tanning me too, too much in the Oculus Rift S, I'm definitely getting way more comfortable in it. And uh, it shows by far. We kind of uh, took, we're taking those clips out, but... That's when I realized that man was running that saucy outline. So, like I said, I want to make sure see actually how close we got on some of these transitions because there was points where we were uh, like right there that was almost on his bumper we we're a little less of an angle through some of them uh, because I was pointing the weird way I guess you would say I'm still learning to tandem in the oculus it's not as like driving a real car in a sense of well graininess and a bit of visual lag when you're in a real car, you don't have that visual lag when you turn your head and stuff like that. But we seem to uh, get it pretty tiled here today at Tomata Circuit with these four teams. So I've learned that right-hand drive cars do not bother me much anymore. I do know where my wheel setup is. I am very familiar with my handbrake and my shifting point. I only missed and almost grabbed my handbrake and my pinky once in that entire session. So, we did pretty good. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all of which are found in the description box below. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed some tandem clips here in a random session with the S14. We're going to step ahead a little bit. we tandem for a while. I, I just, you know, it's, it's crazy for me to take a look at these and just like right there, we were pretty much on his bumper. And I know at one point we did clip his bumper was ours. We didn't mess him up, which was even better.